Hello and welcome to the 27th video in this series of videos program a chess engine in C. So the last video we looked at the move structure and unfortunately I made a glaring mistake here. When I was talking about the hexadecimal values for some unknown reason I said that these values here represented a 3 and this then an F which is correct. Well of course this is supposed to be a 7 so this should be a 7F. So the from here I've already changed to a 0 by 7 f in the comments and please change the macro here if you haven't downloaded this code from the end of this video to a 0 by 7 f here otherwise they won't work properly and I'm sorry about that but these things happen and I discovered it when I was preparing for this video so in this video we're going to do we're going to define just a couple of very simple functions to print a square and print a move in algebraic notation to the board I've added io.c to the folder with all the other files and I've also added io.c to our line in the make file to compile it included defs and included stdio.h and now let's have a quick look at what I mean by algebraic it's very very simple say I have square 32 here which represents b2 well to write b2 in algebraic notation it's b2 if I want to write a move say I'm playing b2 b4 I simply write b2b4 in this manner and that is an algebraic move and if I'm promoting a pawn say with g7g8 I would then write a q for a queen if it's promoted to a queen an r for a rook a b for a bishop and an n for a knight so that's all it is so we just want to write a couple of functions that when we use printf and we put in a string specifier we can then have our square let's say printed inside the printf statement so to do this, the first function we're going to write returns a pointer to a character and it's going to be called sqstr for square string and we'll take in a constant integer of our square. Now I've already prepared some of the code to be honest here because it's not very difficult. The first thing we're going to declare inside here is a static array of characters. Now the reason for this is, is because I explained earlier we'll be using the information that we store in this array outside this function because we're returning a pointer, we'll be returning a pointer to this array. In fact, there, let's change this definition actually to PRSQ print square. So we'll be returning this at the end of the function and we need it still to exist. If it was just simply, if it was defined without the keyword static then it wouldn't exist anymore once returning and the program won't compile properly obviously so we need to declare this as static that also then obviously has the limitation that you can only use it once per printf line if you like so now we need to do is use sprintf and our files board and ranks board arrays that we already have so here we just simply for both of these variables here get the naught to seven numbered file or rank for our square using our array and then we simply and I'm sure this line is fairly self-explanatory simply put in two characters side by side into square string array using the letter a plus the file number so if it was file a it would be plus naught so an a and one plus the rank number so if it was rank naught then it would be a one if it was rank eight then it would be a one plus the seven which would give us the character of eight fairly simple stuff and the printing the move is remarkably similar I'll put this in stage by stage so I can just explain what's going on so print move the start looks like so we define again our static array of characters I'll just make some space at the bottom here and now we need to have the file from and the rank from the file to and the rank to because obviously we've got the from and the two squares and we also need to know what piece we promoted to if any and then what we can simply do, and I'll copy all of this in as a whole thing now, because although it looks like a few lines, it really is quite simple. We simply say, if we promote it, so if it's, it's non-zero, then let's assume that the promotion character is a queen. And then we can use the macros that we have in defs.h to say, OK, if it's a knight that we promoted to, then put an n. Or, and now a little bit of logic with the other, two, the other three macros. If it is a rook or a queen, but isn't a bishop or a queen, then it must be a rook, so put an R. Or the opposite, 
if it's not a rook or a queen, but is a bishop or a queen, then it must be a bishop. So we put a small b on the end, and then exactly the same way as with the printing the square, we use s print f then to put on our characters, to build our character array before returning the pointer to the array. So fairly simple stuff. Just going to go into defs.h down the bottom now and drop in these functions as extern so we can use them elsewhere. Good. Save. And now let's quickly go into vice.c and have a look. I've already deleted from vice the FENs and the setting up a board and asserting the board. And I've changed, well, I've put the from as a2, the 2 as h7, at the moment promoting to a black queen. And what I simply want to do is say print f, and I'll put uh, algebraic from, and put a string, and then we'll just do print square and the from, and I'll copy and paste this twice, algebraic 2, and a string, and the 2. And now I'll put the move and a string, and here we'll just have print. Did I do M V or M O V E? M O V E. And we'll put the move in here as an argument like this. Oh, and obviously we need a new line on the end of these. So just a quick check that these are working. And then let's make and hold my breath. Things make okay. And you can see that we've got our move written out as before, so algebraic from is a2, it's correct, 2 is h7, and we've got a2 to h7, queen, very good. Let's go back and just double check, let's make this a white rook and check that it's actually going to print out a white rook, so I'll just make and run vice, and it does a2 h7 rook, and just one more, I just want to check that it does the bishop because I haven't checked these. I'm assuming it does if the logic's working. Yes, we've got a bishop, and now let's just promote to a black knight for the last one. Good, and now let's try and trick it and do something that we can't promote to, which is a black king, and see what it says. And it puts a queen as default. Good, that's exactly the kind of behaviour we need. That's it for this video. The next video we can finally start getting on with the move list and generating the moves in the position. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.